My name is Ernest Nakoangize. I am from Rwanda. Uh, I am one of the IFMAPAS. I've been working as IFMAPAS Regional Ambassador over the last year. And I am currently working as a pro uh, program manager at the Open Development Tanzania. So I uh, also have been working as a specialist for different projects. And I am also passionate about drone technology and the drone data analysis and the processing. So today I will be talking about the use of drone for malaria elimination it's a project that I've been working on over the last six months. So, uh, so the, the project idea was came when we've been looking on the, the issues of malaria, especially in Africa, and we said we need to look for the solutions about that using the technology that we have for the moment. So actually, most of the people, I think there are some people, especially people who are uh, not uh, from Africa and uh, some more countries in, uh, in Nigeria who don't know about malaria. So malaria is a nearness that is caused by an insect called the Plasmodium parasite, which are spread out people through the bite of infected female mosquito called Anopheras that cause the malaria. So, According to the old report, so the malaria is occurring around the, around the, around many people around the around the globe. So it is found that it is living in the population around in Africa and some countries in Asia. So, for example, in 2020, malaria caused estimated 20, 20, 241 million. Uh, cases of malaria, and it was found like 64, 627 deaths of people all around the globe. So it is a lot of people who are de dying because of malaria. So, as I said before, malaria is most of the time found in a, in Africa and some countries in a, in Asia. And for example, here in America and in most of the country like in Europe, malaria is not th that much. So that's why uh, many people who are dealing with malaria are people from Africa and Asia. So it is a lot of cases of malaria are in Africa because uh, the way it is spread it depends on the weather. And of course, also there is a, a predominant of that uh, mosquito that causes malaria. That's why it is almost great number in Africa. So, so there are other areas here in America that have a few cases of malaria, but it is very big numbers in, in Africa. So, uh, especially in Kigali, we've been having a lot of malaria cases because of our, our country, especially in Kigali. So, a lot of people are living around the, the marshlands, so especially as you can know, so most of the time uh, those mosquitoes that cause malaria grow around the, the wetlands and all, any, the, all the places where you can find the, the water bodies. So as you can see on the image, so in Kigali all people are living around the wetlands where it is possible that the the mosquitoes that are growing from the wetlands can fly over to the population. So that's been the challenging of Kigali, where we've been recording a lot of malaria cases over the, the last years. So as you can see in the image, people are very, very close to those marshlands around the Kigali city. So uh, it's been uh, an idea to make like uh, what I can call like a risk map to show how the local population who are living near this rice plantation, so many people who know how plantation of rice is done, so we plant the rice around the, the, the wetlands. So those wetlands are able to provide the, the, the mosquitoes, that when the mosquitoes are blown, they flow to the local population. You can see that those people who are living in the rain are very vulnerable to the malaria cases due to the mosquitoes that are growing from those uh, rice plantations over here. So that's how it is. There are people who are very, very close to the white land and 
those who are very far from the return, they are somehow safe. So, there is a problem that uh, the world, we know that the, the mosquitoes have been resisting to the normal way of uh, protecting malaria. So, the, actually the normal way of protecting malaria, we've been using like mosquito nets and uh, other repellents that we can use, especially in our host households, to protect the malaria. But all of them, the, the mosquitoes have been resisting from, from, those, from those methods. So it's been idea to look for the other way of fighting the, 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 the mosquito larva from where they are bleeding, so from the bleeding site. It's been like a good idea to fight those malaria mosquito from there. So the idea was just to go to find the possible locations of breeding sites. So we use drones to make all the possible breeding sites. We map them. We use we use a drone so that we can detect all of the mosquito breeding sites, especially the water bodies all around the marshlands. So we take like GPS points of all of the possible locations of water bodies. Also, well, as long as it was the, the project that we need to, to, to show to the people that it has an effect, we've been working with media to be monitoring the changes on what we've been doing. So what we had to do, so we, we had to select like some points in that marshland of rice plantation where we'll be always taking the information about how the mosquito larvae are changing into the water bodies. So we had also to map like the households around the marshlands. So we will be going to those households that like, samples to see how many adult mosquitoes that are coming to the household daily. So we like we, we took like a sample of households where we will be monitoring the the number of uh, adult mosquitoes that are coming out uh, from the from the marshland to the household. So there is a way of collecting the adult mosquito from homes. So we also have to go to the health centers that are around the area to see how many people are coming with the malaria cases from the day we started to be doing this exercise up to, up to the end. So we also have to, to deploy the drones, so the drones that are able to go and spray the, 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 the BTI substance to the to the all the breeding site. So when I say breeding site, it is anywhere that a mosquito can grow and produce the mosquito larva. So, so we've been using uh, a substance that called the BTI. The BTI is a substance that you put into the drone, and the drone you give it the coordinates of where the breeding site is located, and the drone it is goes to the exact location where the the bleeding site is located and sprays that substance to the bleeding site and if there is a presence of mosquito larva, those mosquito larva are died directly. So that's how the things went. So we did this exercise for six months to see how the changes will be going from the first month to the sixth month. So. This is the situation of the ground. Most of the time, people who did not go where we cultivate rice. So due to the way we do irrigation, the, always the water is coming. And when the water is coming and it stays in this plantation, it produces all of uh, mosquito larva. So that is how the situation looks like. But when you use the drone, you can ex extract the locations of those, those water bodies and we'll be able to deploy a drone to the locations that you have been collecting using these drone imageries. So, this is how we've been working. So you can see that when you go to like this breeding site, you take the coordinate and you use this type of drone. So we've been using two different types of drone. So we have a drone that been collecting the imagery and you use the imagery to collect this, uh, this, this information about the breeding site. And 
we take the coordinates, we give it to this drone that have the tank with the BTI substance to go and spray wherever you have like a breathing site. So we had to monitor the changes of the of the bleeding sites within the water bodies that we have already there. So we have to send people these areas. They use like the tools we have to take into the water and they, they count numbers of the the mosquito larvas. So when we see that the mosquito larvas are still increasing or decreasing, that we connect, we, we 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 have to to understand the changes. So. The more while we've been doing this exercise, it's been changing up to the sixth month. So, we've been lucky to have a very nice result of this exercise. So, uh, this exercise it required a lot of work because it have never been done anyway. Else. It was like an innovative idea to see if we can bring solution to the local community. So, and we are lucky that the solution have been really recorded from the information we got. So as you can see, malaria cases have been reduced for, from the information we got from the health centers, it has been reduced for, for 83% depending on the time we started and the time we ended for the six months. So also the mosquito larva that we've been collecting from water bodies at the first day, it reduced over 96 percent at the last day of the exercise. So, and the adult mosquitoes that we've been collecting from the, the sample household we've been working together on the exercise, it's been reduced up to 91 percent. So, it is a very nice work that have been providing the information on how we can eliminate the malaria cases around the world. So the, the challenge that is still there is that uh, the coverage of, of, of the whole country it requires a lot of information, a lot of money to have all of those drones and the people who are able to work with the drone information to analyze the images and also to use those big drones that deploys the, the, the BTR. So that is the challenge that we've been facing, but at least it shows that this is the result that many people can rely on. And we are happy that even our government is happy with the result and it is impressed with that and it is going to, to invest in this one. So it was the, the pilot project and we are intending it to expand in different districts around the country. So this is already at the beginning, but we feel like it will be growing daily and other people around they can use this technology. So thank you very much. I've been just going through quick. I would like to have like many people asking a question like about this so that I can explain in deep. Thank you.